Hey guys, this is Frozen Things Tues here, and I just got done watching Spider Man Across the Spider Verse. For, let me get out first. Uh, yeah, let me just get out first. Okay, well, all right, now I can tell my thoughts about it. Oh, like, oh my god, I cannot believe it how good this movie is. Okay, let's get out first. Like, woo. all right. I'm out now. All right. Uh, what can I say about in this Spider-Verse? This is uh, the best movie of the year. Sorry, Scream Six, you've been top, but not. But saying this is the best movie of the year is an understatement. This is the best Spider movie, dethroning No Way Home. This is some. Um, how do I say this? Some. Um, well, the best Spider movie, the best comic book movie, and probably the best movie I've ever seen since Frozen Two. Yep. This is my second favorite movie of all time now. Frozen 2 number one. I mean, of course, Frozen 2 is unbeatable, but people who are saying this is one of the greatest movies of all time, it's one of the greatest uh, you know, superhero movies of all time, and it's uh, like one of the best, like people who are praising this as one of the best movies ever, they're right, guys. Like, they're one million percent right. I could not agree more with them. Like, yeah, this is, yeah, like I'm, Dead speechless right now. I mean, there is just so much going on. There is so much to dive into. I could literally do an hour review of this, like one hour, like literally. I still need to review across the Spider Verse. I, no, it did the Spider Verse. I still got things to do, but so right, guys, my, my review for Spider Man across the Spider Verse will be one of the most ambitious uh, movie reviews, so, like nearly an hour movie review. Like I'm dead serious. Like this movie. It has everything. It has, you know, a great story, a very deep and powerful story, a the great the char character arcs, not just Miles, but even Gwen. I mean, my God, the Gwen's character development in this movie, like whole new level of of Gwen's uh, character development. And Gwen Stacy is a bomb, man. Like Gwen Stacy, not only is this movie full of Gwen Stacy, like. It's kind of like Gwen Stacy is the, is the main character of this, yeah. And I can't even decide which is the best best scene in the film. Like, I think the opening scene in this movie, the first 20 minutes, the prologue in the first 20 minutes, uh, might just be the best uh, opening scene to a movie I have ever seen. Just 20 minutes of just pure, deep, uh, raw motion. Just by the first 20 minutes alone, you know that movie is gonna be this good. And, you know, there's a great story, like, it, like there's so much ambition to it like but and also the, I, I heard some people complain about the fact that there were like too many cameos B, I call BS because the cameos only happen for like 10 minutes of the movie and it's so it's not all fan service it's telling a story and the and the stakes have never been higher in an anime movie well Frozen 2 that's a no, I'm not saying it's better than Frozen 2 but this is probably the most amp like I've never seen an anime film this ambitious before like that definitely says something, and uh, and yeah, and also this is this definitely did feel long. I felt the runtime, but that is a good thing because I literally did not want to stop watching this movie. I did not want this movie to end at all. Um, and thank God that they they chose a two hour twenty minutes runtime. I mean, this movie is there was never a dull moment, even though it did take one hour before we see Mouse and Gwen head to the Spireverse. I mean, it was never boring because we got 20 minutes of all Gwen Stacy, nothing but Gwen Stacy, like almost feeling like a short film for Gwen Stacy, a, a Gwen Stacy spinoff as a short film. And um, there's so much to say, like, and also Miles Morales is, is even more relatable, especially the time that I'm going through right now, the stage that I'm going through, it feels so um, relatable. And the cameos in this movie, like, wow. Even though, like, thank God they didn't take over the movie. It was just one scene where all the cameos were there so that the movie can give more time for storytelling. Yeah, like, oh my God. Yeah, so, yeah. And also, it definitely ended in the cliffhanger, but it gets you hyped for Beyond the Spider-Verse. In fact, Beyond the Spider-Verse is now officially my most anticipated movie of 2024. And maybe... Beyond the Spider-Verse can top this one as the best in the trilogy, but yeah, this, I mean, it can go either way. Either it won't top in Beyond the Spider-Verse or it will, but for sure it'll be better than Into the Spider-Verse because this movie did everything, and I mean everything, better than Into the Spider-Verse. And yes, people, yeah. 
sorry guys i'm gonna have dinner now here the pizza place here i'm gonna have dinner now so yeah go see across the spire first don't listen on the big screen yeah don't yeah this is better than the first film in every single way it is just so good so good like i'm blown away by this movie and if you're a Gwen Stacy fan, you're gonna love Gwen Stacy 10 times even more here. In fact, best character of the year, I'll have to think about it between her and Tyra, but this movie did not scream, scream 16 thirds of the movie. So yeah, watch the movie, stay tuned for my... I'm currently editing my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Cherry reaction. I was gonna do it, but then I had to leave already, so yeah. And stay tuned for my um, review of Into the Spyverse and then Across the Spyverse. So yeah, I think I might need to record my Outcast Spyverse first, but I'll, I'll blow mine to the Spyverse review first, so yeah. Bye guys.